I'm gonna do three videos, and the videos are motivated by a question I asked in class. I asked uh, whether you know the volume of a sphere, not just the formula, but the derivation. And, and, and I realized that many of you do not know the geometric derivation of the volume of a sphere. And, and this is a beautiful derivation which was first done by Archimedes. And, and, and you see, he's such an important character that I did bring to class uh, Tuna the Bear, who pretended to be Archimedes. So the, the proof that I'm going to do in these three videos will be based on Archimedes' thinking. So the first video, we're going to do the simplest one, the cube. We're going to do the volume of an n-dimensional cube. So you might say, what is an n-dimensional cube? Well, in three dimensions, let's start with three dimensions. We know what a cube is in three dimensions. On the board, I would draw something like this. So it has sides. A, A, and A. The volume of this cube is, of course, A cube. Well, in two dimensions, this is the easy way to go, the equivalent object would be a square. And it has sizes, sides of A and A. There, the volume would be called an area, would be A square. So this is the volume. One dimension is just the length of A. So here the volume is A. Now, I can go in this direction as well. So I can go to four dimensions. Four dimensions, I would have each surface of A cube and then has a depth of A. So the volume, which I'm not drawing here, would be 8 to 4. Now, it should be obvious in one dimension, this is 8 to the 1, 8 to the 2, 8 to the 3, 8 to the 4. And in n dimensions, this would be 8 to the n. So that's the volume of a cube in any dimension. Very simple, a to the n. I want you to notice one more thing. I want you to see how many surfaces a cube has in different dimensions. Well, let's start with two dimensions. Two dimensions, I have four surfaces. I'm going to focus on the center here. Well, let's do it right here. I'm going to put an x-axis and a y-axis. So imagine this is the center of my cube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a surface perpendicular to the x-direction and one perpendicular again to x-direction but in the minus uh, direction and two of them in the y and minus y. Naturally, it has four surfaces. So, number of surfaces is 4. Well, in 1D, the surfaces are just two points. Left point and a right point. So, this has two surfaces. Number of surfaces. In three dimensions, we have three axes. X, Y, and Z. Let's draw that x, y, and z. And I'm going to have a surface perpendicular to the x, perpendicular to the minus x, y, minus y, z, and minus z. I will have six surfaces. We all know the cube has six surfaces. How about four dimensions? Well, I have to have one more axis. So, x, y, z, and the next letter I'm going to borrow from Dr. Seuss. This was a book my kids used to like a lot. And the letter after z turns out to be yas. 
So I'm going to, for four dimensions, I need to introduce one more axis. So that's going to be x, y, z. And the next axis is going to be yes. You will notice, since I have four axes, I will have four surfaces, x minus x, y minus y, z minus z, yas minus yas. Eight surfaces. And if I go to n dimensions, I will have two n surfaces. I think we know everything we need to know about an n-dimensional cube. We know their surfaces, we know their volume. Volume is a to the n. There are two n surfaces. We'll continue. Thanks.